Lordship, the second surety is Katwala Farouk. Katwala Farouk. He is he's 31 years old. Katwala Farouk is 31 years old. Your worship, he does manicure and pedicure. He does manicure and pedicure. At Bosia Zone in one degree, at Bosia Zone in one degree, Kawanda Division in Kampala District. Noashik is also resident of the same place. Yes, Bosia Zone, one degree, and Kawanda Division, Kampala District. Worship is a resident of that same place. That is Busianzo, one decade in Kalu Division, Kampala District. Worship is a friend to the accused person. Is a friend to the accused person for over five years. Worship his telephone number is zero seven five four. 0754-065-560. No worship. We have explained to the show it is their role. We have explained to the show it is their role, which is to ensure that the accused person complies with the terms set by court. And to ensure attendance whenever called upon. And in the event of an omission, they are willing to abide by the terms set by court to ensure that justice is dispensed. You will have explained the truth to them and they understand it and they are willing to comply with the terms set by this court. And grant the case person pain. Your worship, the case person is a child, the case person is charged with an office that is payable. The accused person is charged with offenses payable by this honorable court. And your worship, his right stems from the presumption of innocence guaranteed by the Constitution. Worship the accused person has a fixed place of abode. The accused person has a fixed place of abode that is clearly indicated in the charge sheet. of this court that he produces the LC1 letter, he shall comply. He shall comply immediately after his release on court pay. He shall produce the LC1 letter of this place of residence if this court will desire it. Worship on those grounds, I feel that like his person is not in I suffer.
guidelines for courts of judification, practice direction, of 2022. The constitution bail guidelines for courts of judicature in brackets practice direction 2022. Paragraph 13 of the same sets out the considerations for bail. Now, highlight a few that apply in this matter. Now, submit on the nature of the office. The applicant hearing is charged with a series of courts. As highlighted in the charge sheet, against the person of the speaker, the security institutions. Country that is in front of police force and you be there. You know that this process is a serious nature. And we submit that once it's released from day, at this time, when the parties are not complete. We set a bad, a bad precedent considering that investigations are not yet concrete. And the institution involved are part of the investigative process. Then I it's my submission that the amount of bail the accused is premature and I pray that the bail is denied. Your Honor, I'll submit on the place of the board, on the applicant. Your Honor, matters, the charge sheet, laid down the residence of the accused. Your Honor, we are not sure whether he has a fixed place of abode in that area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Antenna. You want to know a little bit of Use the national identity card. As I tell you, when I ask a big place of the body, it's in the middle. You're going to consider that 
You're on a surety one. The adult presented. He's a vendor of maize and tomatoes. You're on a maize, you specific store or shop that has been specified. As I say, whether she had a place that she can be located. And her place of business is here. The introductory that is so is general. And it doesn't describe any relationship. Between the accused person and the shooting. It's my submission and prayer that the shoot is found and satisfied. Number two, for it. Where he does his manicure and pedicure, apart from mentioning that so he Submission and prayer. That the two surety are unsubstantial and the prayer is for the jets. I 
watching briefly and enjoying that. He was that this person is not a convict as we speak. Step seems to suggest that because the offense is serious, he should not be granted bail. But your worship, that would defeat the spirit of Article 28 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. Specifically, on the presumption of innocence, of innocence, it will defeat the spirit of Article 28 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. Specifically, on the presumption of innocence. Your worship, we believe the offenses were serious as state alleges. There are still allegations. There are still allegations against the accused person. Subject to proof which has not yet been adduced. And your worship, it does not matter all the Uganda police force or the UPDF. The catchword is that they are offenses and they are still allegations. It is for this court to pronounce itself at a later stage after the witnesses have been presented whether actually the serious charges were committed by the accused person or not. It is for this court to satisfy itself on the allegations presented after witnesses have come. So you are should keep the accused person behind bars on that allegation of being miscarriage of justice. Your worship, it is also trying to know that bail can be granted at any stage of the proceedings. Bail can be granted at any stage of the proceedings. And your worship, considering the fact that state alleges that inquiries are still ongoing, it actually puts our client at an advantage. The fact that inquiries are still ongoing puts our clients of being granted bail. Because we cannot tell when the inquiries are likely to end. We cannot tell when these inquiries are likely to end. Especially in view of the fact that state is always crying out of lack of funds to prosecute, lack of funds to prosecute files, criminal files, or insufficient funds to prosecute the files. In the same thing, uh, state has not presented any evidence of uh, the accused interfering with accused discapacity to interfere with the ongoing investigations if he's released from bail. State has not produced any evidence 
of their Tuesday Safia with inquiries if it's released on bail. <coughs> So we pray that that of any objection is treated with the redundance that it deserves. Terms set by this court, including production of the LC1 letter, including the production of the LC1 letter of his area of residence. Your worship, as we can all see, is behind bars and there is no way an introduction letter from the local council chair can be called. So that is something that the artist person can comply with if it is set as one of the terms of what they call the production of this national identity card. Your Worship, it is also absurd that state seems to suggest that to have a fixed place of abode, you must have constructed a house in some area. That suggests state is out of reality. It's not in touch with reality. Chiba that they could be their fifth person. Attendance, your worship. And I know that this court would not want to set a precedent of saying that if you're a tenant, you cannot get paid. It would be absurd. So I also pray that that area of objection is overruled. Your worship state also seems to suggest that because that least person is 24 years old, he's going to run away from the country. That because the accused person is 24 years, is going to run away from the country or hide. Your worship age. The fact of his younger age should be used in his favor. The fact of being that is 24 years should be used in his favor. So he can go back to the community and be useful, as well as, or as he continues to come to court and answer his, to his charges, you wash him. So the case will not abate because it's 24 years, or because it's out of, of prison. Worship in the same line, State has not brought any evidence whether the accused person has ever attempted to a police cell. So that 
that is mere speculation in worship. They accused that the state has not produced any evidence. Has not, she has not produced any evidence that the accused has ever attempted to abscond or escape from a police cell or prison or in any legal confinement. So assuming that the, the assumption that the accused will abscond because it's 24 years should be overruled because it holds no what. And your worship, I also pray that court takes judicial notice of the fact that the Uganda prison service has been in the public domain addressing the public about the issue of overcongestion in prisons. The overcongestion in prisons and the lack of food or insufficient. for the prisoners. Okay. Your worship, the Uganda prison public about the issue of congestion in prisons. And this court should be of assistance to the Uganda prison service by ensuring that people like the accused person who have presented sureties who have presented sureties, who understand their role. And this person who has presented sureties who understand their role should be allowed to come from home as they, as they report their case. Worship on the issue of the two sureties presented, the objection is raised. Worship, it is our submission that the sureties have presented letters of introduction from their areas of residence. These letters have not been contested by state. The letters have not been contested by state regarding the offer, the offer of the same. And also regarding the persons introduced to their ring, whether they are the actual persons. No contestation has been raised by state regarding the sureties introduced and the offer. Apart from the issue of relationship, which she says is not clearly indicated in the letters, the relationship between the accused and the sureties. Now should the two sureties stood before this court? And clearly informed court their relationships with the accused person. They clearly told this court and it went on record that the first surety is the auntie, maternal auntie, and the second surety is a close friend to the accused person for over five years. So it is not that they don't know the relationship or that they don't have any relationship. So having the LC1 letters on record, you want it, plus the introduction letters, plus the relationship clearly and put on court record, you worship it is very easy for state 
to locate the areas of residence of both shurikins. <coughs> and this is where they can be found. Here uh, should last name the issue of shurikins. The accused person, uh, the state seems to suggest that when you don't have a store or a shop, you are not a substantial shield. Is this agree? Your worship, the test of a substantial surety has already been. is already known, and most important is for the accused persons to show that they know they are wrong as sureties. Yes, everyone should be disagree with that uh, area of objection, because the sureties have told us that they know they are wrong. And that is the test. That the sureties know they are wrong. They are closely related to that first person. And they have submitted letters of residence. Your worship being a substantial surety has never been based on someone's financial standing. Otherwise, the poor would be left to rot in jail. All those ones who cannot afford shops to pay rent for shops and stores, your worship. And your worship, in the same line, in the same line, the Shuriti, it is a public domain, your worship, and I know the state is also aware that there is a problem of unemployment in Uganda. There is a big problem of unemployment in Uganda, and most youth, most youth have no jobs. They have no jobs, and they're just trying to survive so that they don't engage in crime. And the government of Uganda has also been lamenting on the same, but has not come up with a clear solution to absorb the jobless youth. That my job in Canada is still lamenting on the same. So instead of condemning these two who are vending maize, we should actually upload them that they are trying their best to survive in, an, in a, a condition that is not economically favorable, but they are trying their best. Even those ones who tried to run to the Middle East, the government is trying to gamble with the plane to bring them back. His Excellency, I right know that Satan is going to hold a course on 8th and 9th October, fundraise for them to come back home. It is a hassle. So imagine those ones, over 1,000, when they come back also. It's a hassle, but it's a problem. So I should pray that the two children should not be condemned over their status of living and work.
Yoshi. On those grounds, I pray we retaliate our earlier submissions and pray that the accused person be granted bail on lenient terms. And court finds the shield is substantial. I saw the motion. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, Honorable. Yes. So, back to our brief notes, the church about them court. The church about them court, motive Kasaka, Mamorese, a two Sabido Pay Mirira, Era, Abama, Mirida, Vivo, Nature, and Papa and Tusuaya, Bonji, Namisa Songana, so what it is. Naga Matina, again a Kukora, Kakum in Arumo, November, Vidia Vidimo, and Mokin, the Bagan of Mokomia, as Roku in Saka. Kasaga is not going to be able to do computer, Changa Changa, computer, and the same computer. Two of the cars are the same. I have a comrade of the police, a 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 police, Evalakiwa of Sasura Mikon, a Kumi, studies are only work. Umlamazi or more government at against such a woman as a Chuck and a Maso, Eva Gamba Tracing, a Yakuta Mokotin, a bid in November, a bid a bid more bid, more government at Woody of Nonjas of Kutus. So yet Tracing Manuli, Bobby Holly, one of Titanaro or Teddy Atele, who are Eratulins at Katuka and I. A comrade who are four, who will I motive Kasaka. Ovaka Saka Bashiri of Nani were of course a software computer, Nok Changa Changa Mwandi Kobia computer, a Erangem Sango, the Yemo UPDF, the Changa Changa UPDF, the police force in a speaker of parliament, a Erangasm Kosoka Sakaka of Weba, the Abantu Variko Varibane, Mokwanga, a Oyota Sobo de Teva, Mangam Lamus, a Gambian in Sarayet, a Yakujiwa, the Kumina Rumon, October. Okay. <coughs> 
za kienyeji